Very warm welcome to you as you join us on today's episode of Tax Matters. My name is Olumuiwa Matuluko. How's your week been? We hope that things are on the upbeat side. Because as you can see, we are upbeat. Tax administration in Nigeria is being taken to a higher level. Taxpayers' comfort is being taken to a higher level with the official launching of ITAS, Integrated Tax Administration System. On Wednesday, June 12, 2013, the acting executive chairman of the FRS, Alaji Kabiru Mashi, taped a message to management and staff of the service on the official takeoff of ITAS. It was essentially directed at management and staff, but because we know that the comfort, the well-being of the taxpayer, who the FRS refers to as the king and queen, is so important, we have taken the liberty to share some part of that address with you. It was aptly titled, Let Us Move to the Next Level. Management and staff of the Federal Illa Revenue Service, it is with great pleasure and a sense of fulfillment that I pre present to you today the much talked about automated tax administration platform in Nigeria, commonly referred to as ITAS, that is Integrated Tax Administration System. The entire reform drive had in the background a functional automated system that will simplify the practice and administration of taxation in Nigeria. In September 2011, the board and management of the service approved the implementation of ITAS. The implementation is to be done on a pilot basis and is to go live in those selected pilot sites in September 2013. With its implementation, changes will come about mostly in tax operations. The automation will substantially affect the following core tax processes. One, taxpayer registration. Taxpayers can register with Federal Revenue Service online from the comforts of their homes or offices. B, taxpayer data will come to us stress-free through the link to Corporate Affairs Commission and Nigerian Customs Service on data transmission. C, tax identification number, that's the TIN certificate, can be printed online and it is free of charge. Other core tax processes to be positively affected include returns payments, revenue and refund accounting, document management, management and information system, debt management and enforcement, audit and investigation, tax credit certificate, objections and appeals. In addition, there will also be greater collaboration and integration with the Corporate Affairs Commission, the Nigeria Customs Service, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority and the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation. How long it will take for you to clear my container? I did do a maga. The stable will go bring our team. Our team? Which team? Custom don't change your And I never have a What do you consider FRS with my business? I will talk to Gaba myself. You are fired. Gaba. Gaba Gaba. Which one be this our team again? The taxpayer identification number. Now the only way where you fit take do business with Nigerian Custom Service now will you fit process your own free team. Sharp sharp for any FRS office. So G. You don't suck me. No, 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 no. Get our team. Now, now, now. This message now from Federal Inland Revenue Service and Nigeria Custom Service. Next level indeed. Now you know that better days are here for the taxpayer with ITAS. Last episode, we spoke about the three E's in taxation. We spoke about enactment of laws, about education of the taxpaying public, and about enforcement, enforcement of laws, of sanctions and penalties on offenders. We are a veritable platform for the second E, which is education and enlightenment. So everywhere that the FIRS goes, we go. Everything that they do in their bid to educate and enlighten the taxpaying public, tax matters 
is always there. And so on Thursday, June 13, 2013, we were in Kaduna to cover an FRS workshop on the administration of capital gains tax, stamp duties, validated tax, personal income tax, and other taxes for optimum revenue yield. The keynote address was delivered on behalf of the acting executive chairman by Mrs. Gloria Iwuji, the outgoing director, registration, returns, filing, payment, processes and programs department at the FRS. The emphasis is on non-oil collection. Non-oil is the sustainable revenue. Then oil is full of uncertainties. Fluctuation in oil prices can mean that we may not uh, get what we expect to get from oil and gas collection. We must ensure that we exceed the 2013 target with a very large margin at the end of the year to justify the confidence that the government has reposed in us. There is therefore the need to focus on these identified areas, bring up ideas, which will enable us to optimize revenue from the non-oil sector. Now, given the focus of this workshop on these taxes, I expect that there will be in-depth deliberations on the strategies to be adopted to enable us to achieve our objectives in this regard. As tax officials, you should all play your role in sensitizing the public, creating awareness on correct practices that will positively drive the collection of all the taxes. In attendance were the foot soldiers of the FRS in the North Central region, the real men and women on the field. Yes, North Central region. The FRS has four offices in Kaduna, and the Kaduna offices are in the North Central region of the FRS, as opposed to the Northwest that Kaduna belongs in the geopolitical setup of Nigeria. Papers were presented on all the taxes administered by the FRS, including personal income tax, capital gains tax, VAT, stamp duties, and more. Similar workshops have been held in other regions of the FRS, and more are still to be held. Yeah, working. Okay. Yeah, waiting with this. Ah, uh, the deduction now for withholding tax. Withholding gain. Look, if you don't pay me my correct money today, hey, you don't get me half for you. Well, madam, should be your company paying income tax. Yes, that one not enough load for me to carry. Why in a one come and join me again? You see, withholding tax now advance payment for income tax. So, when you do some kind of job, like contract, we go remove small from them when we won't pay you. Mm. No, 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 we must pay the money to FIRS within 30 days and they go give us withholding tax credit note to take sure say you don't pay part of your income tax in advance. Uh -huh, so? Now, to help make the money we go pay at the end of the year small. So, <laughs> this withholding tax won't it be like part part payment or we are not? Exactly, madam. I beg you. Give me my check. Remember, come collect your credit note. Withholding tax, now for we own good. FIRS, it pays to pay your tax. Still on Kaduna, Christina Pius is here to take us around the four offices of the FRS in Kaduna. Welcome to Know Your Tax Office. This week, we're taking you to Kaduna State. Do you reside or is your business located around the Kaduna metropolis? Then the Cardinal South Micro and Small Taxpayers Office 2 is the closest FRS office to you. The Cardinal MSTO is located at 7A Katsina Road, opposite the Cardinal State Program Welfare Board, Cardinal State. Mr. Amodu Wahid is a tax controller. Within Cardinal Metropolis and Cardinal Southern Zaria, so we have about 11 local governments. So the local governments are Cardinal South, we have Kashia, Kaguru, we have uh, Jiri. We have Shikun, we have Sanda, we have uh, Zangu Kataf, we have Jaba, we have uh, uh, Jema local government. Taxpayer education number, how long yes. does it take? In our place, it takes less than one hour. The moment they come, so, and they bring all the necessary documents, and they fill the necessary forms. So immediately, we issue the, uh, the team for them. How much do you charge for team? Uh, we don't collect anything for team, it's free. The Cardinal MSGO2 also houses the Government Business Tax Office. Mr. Garba Yusuf 
is the state monitor, Government Business Tax Office in Cardinal State. Yes, the Government Business Tax Office is saddled with the responsibility of collecting taxes, taxes purely uh, on contract of supplies deducted by government uh, agencies, MDS, local governments, and of course the payers are deducted by the police force. These are basically the taxes you collect around. The Cardinal North Micro and Small Taxpayers Office 1 is located at number 3 Broadcasting Road, Cardinal, adjacent to the Cardinal Central Market, Cardinal State. As you are watching this, the office may have relocated to its new premises in Mogadishu layout in Cardinal State. Mr. O.J. Okwepa is the tax controller. Cardinal 1 is comprised of uh, the local governments uh, that make up Cardinal 1. Okay. Cardinal North, the Gabi local government, mm -hmm. Viringwari local government, Kauru local government, and Kabau local government. These five local governments form the jurisdiction of Cardinal okay. 1. How long does it take to acquire TIN? Task identification number in my office does not take more than five minutes. But if you are registering for tax purposes, we'll give you the tax TIN first, mm -hmm. then other processes can follow. Of course, before we give you the TIN, we must see your incorporation certificate or registration certificate, as the case may be, in enterprises. We must also see that you have uh, an application on a header paper. That is when you want to register. But there are instances where someone will just walk in, say, I'm trapped in a bank. Uh, I have some transactions I cannot continue in the bank because I need a TIN. In such cases, we don't waste time. How, long, how much does it cost? It's free of charge. We, don't charge. we don't charge for TIN. Okay. Okay. We don't charge. The FRS also has a stamp duty office in Kaduna. The office is located within the premises of the Corporate Affairs Commission in Kaduna State. Mr. Balari Berusman is a commissioner for stamp duties. In stamp duties, we don't really have jurisdiction. Somebody from Lagos can bring his document to Kaduna for stamping, and somebody from Abuja can still bring his, despite, despite the fact that we have a stamp duties in Kaduna, he can still bring his own in Kaduna. And can stand, this, likewise, the same thing. Somebody from Kaduna can take his document to Abuja or Lagos for stamping. What kind of services do you provide when you say stamp duties? Um, the services we, prov we provide is actually is a tax. Stamp duties is a tax on document. Um, if you sell a house, definitely there, there, there must be an agreement. Then there must be an assignment. That assignment will stamp it if you want it to be admissible in the court of law. We noticed that your office is situated in the same premises with the Corporate Affairs Commission. Is there any special reason? Yes, there is. It is a collaboration between FRS and um, um, CAC for the fact that um, they are collecting... Primarily what CAC does is incorporating companies. Uh, we are interested in the share capital documents. We are interested in the documents they are processing. So to make things very, very convenient for the taxpayers, that's why we enter into that collaboration with CAC so that we can have our office inside their premises. So anytime you go to CAC for mortgage, uh, uh, incorporation, share increase, you can just come down to our office and then we just do the necessary job for you. Seamless. Thank you, Christy. You may well wonder, after you have been convinced to pay your taxes and you have paid your taxes, is the money safe? Are you sure that the money is well accounted for? Are you sure that the money will be used judiciously? Many questions, good questions, legitimate questions, and many answers. Tax authorities all over the world are charged with the twin task of collecting and accounting for revenue. And the Federal Inland Revenue Service is no exception. In fact, the FRS has a department called Revenue Accounting Department, RAD for short, or as some people call it, RAD, under the leadership of Alaja QC Segosime. 
on Wednesday, the 19th of June, 2013, the Revenue Accounting Department of the FRS brought together banks who are partners with the FRS in tax collection, ministries, departments, and agencies who act as agents of collection, and the field officers of the FRS itself to update the knowledge of everyone on the new trends in tax collection as espoused by the forward-looking federal government of Nigeria. Talk about transformation agenda. And to Rob Mines, the acting executive chairman of the FRS was represented at the opening ceremony by Mr. Ikechuku Ehedioha, the coordinating director, direct reports group of the FRS. For efficient development of the tax system, the inter-processes involved in tax administration must be computerized. Those who entertain fears, we are actually sincere in the skepticism, given the prevailing manual level of operations in the entire facet of the Nigerian economy. But if we had not started, we would not have been where we are today. Our focus at inception was on efficiency in collection, assessment, and accounting, which formed the core mandate of FRS. While the primary mandate remained unchanged, a lot has since changed from process reengineering to process automation through our modernization programs. We developed new vision and mission statement, a new set of core values, and we communicated widely. We then decided to strengthen our level of cooperation and collaboration, and to do this in a manner that will be result-oriented. We identified and grouped our stakeholders. Hence, we take time out to have programs like this where we can dialogue with the stakeholders on the journey so far. Mr. M. K. Dikwa of the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation delivered a paper on GIFMIS, Government Integrated Financial Management Information System, while Mr. A. A. Kure of the Central Bank of Nigeria delivered another paper on the implementation of Treasury Single Accounts, TSA. The chief hostess, Q. C. Segosime, delivered a paper on ethics and expectations of the FRS from tax collection system parties, that is banks, ministries, departments and agencies, and others, while Mrs. O. O. Adediro spoke on the roles of FRS, the ministries, departments and agencies, and banks. The occasion was used for frank exchange of ideas between the FRS team and participants. <music> After the Abuja workshop, the train moved to Lagos on Wednesday, the 26th of June, and Portacourt will host the next workshop on Thursday, July 4. Tax Matters spoke to the chief hostess on the objective of the workshop. We wanted to sensitize parties in the collection systems on our payment processes and also to expose to them those initiatives that we are doing in the FRS to improve the system. Reaching out to the taxpayer, of course, you know that tax education is a continuous thing. Mm. Educating them, especially ministries, departments and agencies of government and other taxpayers so that they will be able to remember or know our payment processes. Uh, now, uh, a paper was presented on TSA, that is uh, Treasury Single Account. Another one about governments. In all of this, where does FRS come in? Or going forward, what will those initiatives mean for revenue collection and accounting? The initiatives by government on the Give, Give Me platform is to enhance transparency and accountability in government business. And for FRS, we want our processes to be as transparent as much as possible to ensure that the right amount of taxes are collected and, and that as, the collect, as we collect our monies, they are immediately swept to the government account. So it will help us a lot in the area of collection of taxes for government. 
and on tax refund, a matter that came up from time to time during the course of the one-day workshop. In the course of this one-day event, we've had so many references to refund, that is refund of taxes paid, maybe in excess, wrongfully paid. And we wonder, have you started refunding? Yes, indeed. We have started refunding since uh, two, three years ago. Mm. In fact, so many people have actually gotten refund um, requests being honored by FIRS. Mm. The banks, when they make mistakes, whether it is uh, double payment, whether it is overpayment, maybe because of wrong system failure, they've been refunded appropriately. Even taxpayers, not only the banks, mm -hmm. the taxpayers that have their withholding tax overpaid, they have been refunded as well. Mm -hmm. So many companies can testify to that. So it is real and it is here to stay. FIRS is part and parcel of tax administrative system. And FIRS is forging ahead to refund to taxpayers. How is it easy to access this refund? It's very easy in the sense that the, our art says that every uh, refund must be audited. Okay. In the first place, any taxpayer asking for refund knows that his you know, account must be audited. Okay. If it is audited and it is found that indeed he's overpaid, then he will be refunded. If you're audited according to the act, there are other documents that you need to produce. Mm -hmm. You must produce evidence that you paid that tax or that that tax is double paid. So we must trace it from the bank, the time you paid that account, there to CBN. Mm -hmm. And if we know that it has gone to CBN and government has gotten that in their coffers, we'll refund you appropriately. So you must have your account number with us. You must be a bona fide taxpayer. Indeed, you must have your tax uh, uh, TIN number. That is tax identification number. Mm. So we know that indeed you're a taxpayer. You must also have been paying the, your tax. Because if you're not paying your tax, you don't expect the government to, mm -hmm. you know, refund you what you have not uh, mm. paid according to the mm. law. Mm. So that is a part of, you know, the series of documents that you must, apart from the traces that we'll now do with internal, you know, tracing, investigation, through our system. You know, we, uh, in, we do the system, we have a system called pay direct mm -hmm. system, which is automated system. Mm -hmm. In FIRS, we don't touch money. Taxpayers pay to the bank, and you know, through that automated system, it goes to the government coffers. Okay. So we check through that system to be sure that your tax was paid before we refund you what is overpaid. Okay. On the average, from your experience, how long does it take? The law says we must refund within 90 days after the FIRS makes decision on your payment. Okay, okay. So, but we have reduced it and given ourselves task that within 30 days we should refund to taxpayers. Once you agree that once you the agreed refund is due. that the refund is due, okay. or once all the documents that is is uh, okay for refund. Okay. Sometimes. Within two weeks, we can refund, depending. Mm. Yes, the bank refund, which is reconciliation. When you see that uh, there's overpayment, mm. of course, it mm. runs into the system. Mm. That does not take time. With little investigation, within two weeks or three weeks, that refund is paid. Okay. But for the ones that go for full audit, then that one you know, runs to about two months, three months, depending. There you are. Tax refund is real. It is not a fluke. Once your papers are right and refund has been determined as due to you, you will get it. Money has been set aside for that purpose. We do hope that once again, we have been able to help you in further understanding the workings of the Nigerian tax system. We thank you most sincerely for being here today. And please let us do it again next week on the same station, same day of the week, same time of the day. See you around next week.